So tonight we thank our musicians. We thank God for our choir that they sung on the power of the Holy Spirit today. Today I'm going to start another series of sermons. Don't know as of yet how many, but I do know going to be more than one. From the book of Psalms, Psalms 1. Psalms 1. Psalms 1, you find these words, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Read that with me, will you? Blessed. Blessing. The word 
and spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Here he talks about the humble, the meek. They shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. You don't have to die to inherit the kingdom of heaven. You can inherit the kingdom of heaven right down here on this earth. The Bible says where Jesus reigns, where Jesus is king, that's heaven. If he reigns in your life, that's heaven. If he reigns in your home, that's heaven. If he reigns on your job, that's heaven. If he reigns in your home, that's heaven. If he reigns in your church, that's heaven. And tell you to bless. Bless our poor spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Then he goes on and says, Blessed are they that mourn. Happy are they that mourn. Life situations may bring some hurt and pain your way. And if you're a child of God, guess what? Jesus promised us that. He said, Now, now every day is not going to be a good day. You're going to have some bad days. You're going to have some, oh my God, some good times. And you're going to have some bad Peacemaking. 
is the man that walked not in the counsel of the ungodly. Secondly, he said, walk, he said, he said, stand not in the way of sinners. Sin means to miss the mark. Sinners, uh, they don't quite live as we should. Don't we? Don't we? You might as well say, man, I can pass you down. Sometimes we, we miss the mark. Sometimes we miss the bullseye. All right, Pastor. They are the ones, they are the ones that the scripture speaks of when it says there's a way which seem right unto man. But the end thereof is death and destruction. We are living in a day, Rodney, today where people are saying wrong is right and right is wrong. Constraint. 
But thank God that Jesus died for us. Now, my last point, but I guess we I'll, I'll bring some more back next week. The last point, he says, sit not in the seat of the storm. In other words, these are the ones who hate the truth. Not only hate the truth, but they are haters of God. They don't want prayer in school. They don't want prayer on the job. They don't want the Bible in school. They don't want the word being preached even now from the pulpit. Exercise. 